Hey, what is up everybody? It is the Epic Venomous Fat Man here, and it's time for a brand new OTGT video for all of you guys out there. Now, this time I'm talking about something a little different. I'm not talking about any one game. I'm not talking about any one type of system or whatnot. I'm talking about G4 today. Now, I know it's been a while since all of that has been going on, all the G4 talk. Oh, it's changing, you know, its name is rebranding itself or whatnot, but... Even though I want to kind of speak on it, you know, a while back, I never got the chance to. But today, you know, recently I saw something that really kind of sparked the flame up again to kind of, you know, bring up this subject. And it was actually the ending of X-Play. X-Play kind of wrapped up its taping of its final episode and they kind of did like a one shot of like all the cast members that were there recently. But one of the things that really kind of stuck out to me and it kind of really brought back the flame of like what I thought about G4 over the years and leading up to its eventually, you know, eventual demise of what's coming was that the absence of Adam Sussler as part of the actual cast, or the big uh, group shot in uh, X-Play's final episode, or the, I guess their final photography or principal photography or whatever. But here's the thing, let me go back to the beginning. To be honest with you, I've been a fan of, uh, was it G4 for a very long time, which I'm pretty sure most of you guys have. G4, you know, was the gamers network for the most part, back in the day. This was the network where if you were a fan of gaming, or even if you were just an otaku in general, a lot of the good gaming-related stuff would be found on G4. Your RPGs, your Japanese RPGs, you know, your first-person shooters, your fighting games, your action games, some of the biggest AAA titles, or even some cool stuff from way back in the day, the old school, could be found on G4 in some form or fashion. Some of the best shows on there, you know, including X-Play, even back when it was still known as Extended Play, Judgment Day, anybody remember that with Victor Lucas, and Tommy Tallarico, Arena, which used to be the competitive gaming, you know, show for people that were, you know, really into competitive gaming and actual, you know, tournament play, and Cinema Tech and Icons, if you guys remember those shows, those were some of the best shows from back then, and I thought it was really kind of like the golden years for that network, even when it was still known as Tech TV. And even when things started to change, when it became, you know, G4, when Tech TV saw screensavers actually became Attack of the Show, and it was much more about, uh, was it all things around that were geek culture rather than just tech overall, it was still good in its own right, and there was still a lot of good programming, a lot of great stuff to come out of shows like Comic-Con, like E3, and all these other big uh, gaming events, or even gaming-related or gaming-oriented events were really cool. A lot of great coverage used to go on G4, and it made the network really fun to watch. But then there came a point where things started to change and things started to go downhill from there, where a lot of the programming was changed to stuff that you couldn't believe it was on a network that was originally touted to be a gamers network or games for TV, if you would. I don't know if that was the actual acronym that they used back in the day, but every, every once in a while when I would look at it, I always think that because G4 TV, games for television, you know, it kind of made sense to me over the years. But all of a sudden you started to see things like cops, you started to see things like cheaters. And it also an overabundance of shows like Ninja Warrior. Now, don't get me wrong. I know there's a huge fan base for Ninja Warrior, American Ninja Warrior, uh, the uh, Great Bazooki or whatever. I forgot what the actual Japanese name was. But all those different shows like that, which have obstacle courses and whatnot. A lot of them were older episodes and stuff, and it was cool to watch at first. But then all of a sudden, you started getting an overabundance of it constantly all the time. And it was really, really annoying. You know, to see different shows that, at some point, I didn't care for anymore, you know, as compared to some of the older shows that they had, or some of the shows that I wanted to see, and some of the content I wanted to see. It just wasn't exciting to turn on that actual channel anymore. Then, other things started to happen. You started to have different people leave. You know, you had Kristen Stewart, who originally was on Cheat. If you guys remember, Cheat Cheat used to be its own separate show, and they used to have a male actual host for it. Then Kristen Stewart took over, and then she actually became part of the X-Play team. But then she left, and then a whole bunch of other people started leaving. But by far, outside of like someone like Kevin Pereira, who got a whole party for E3 when he left G4, you also had Adam Sessler, which I thought was like the final nail into the coffin for the network. Because let's be honest for a little bit. I'm an Adam Sessler fan, and I've always enjoyed his work, even back when he was still part of Extended Play back in the day. But I always thought that a lot of the people that watched G4 and a lot of the people that watched like X-Play and a lot of those shows was mostly because of him. Because not only was he a great on-screen personality to watch, and he was funny in his own right at times, he also had the intellect and the knowledge about gaming, and it, uh, was it the ability to articulate his thoughts about video gaming, his opinions about the industry. But also at the same time, he also did things for the network, or just did things for gamers in general that were unprecedented, that were really, you know, bold moves, that really, when things and, you know, the kind of the stuff hit the fan, he was the one to step up about it. Do any of you guys remember the stuff that happened with Fox News? 
Remember with this whole kind of controversy with Mass Effect? And they were talking about how there was actual, you know, interactive sex and stuff. Adam Susser was the only real one that kind of spoke out of it. I know that Jeff Keighley had actually gone on Fox News to actually kind of debate about it, but it was almost kind of lackluster in the sense that he never really got a chance to articulate his thoughts. Yet, uh, at some point, not too long afterwards, Adam Susser was able to come out and really kind of put, you know, uh, what is it, the smackdown on the whole kind of, you know, uh, I want to say ignorant thinking that was going on with some of those individuals at the time in regards to Mass Effect. Do you guys remember the whole thing with Jack Thompson? Everybody that's a gamer remembers Jack Thompson, the biggest villain to gaming at some point, where he was really kind of, you know, going out against Grand Theft Auto and violent video games. The only other person that really kind of stepped up to the plate and debate about him and actually talk about it was Adam Sessler. And I always thought it was amazing, outside of all the different things that he did, that at the point where he finally left, that it was treated as such a haphazard leave, or uh, was it kind of like a parting of ways, that to the point where it was like it was no big deal that Adam Sussler was leaving G4. Someone that was there for so long and so prominent in what he was doing for gaming almost had to end just as quickly as he started. Which kind of sucks, because let's be real. Okay. Kevin Pereira, you know, a lot of people are fans of Kevin Pereira, you know, with Attack of the Show, and it's great what he did in his own right. But at the same time, you know, he didn't do as some of the things that Adam Susser ended up doing down, you know, over the years or whatnot. I know they've been in with the network, you know, for almost as much time, but if you look at what was done in their resume, you know, it kind of almost seems like, you know, the one who really should have gotten the party at E3 was Adam Sussler. At the same time, also, here's where it kind of plays into the whole ending of X-Play. When X-Play ended, you get this one shot of the entire cast and crew of all the people that have been quote-unquote there for most of the time over the show's uh, run. But at the same time, it felt like something was missing when you look at that picture. Because again, so many episodes have Adam Susser in it, and for him to not be in that final picture and not to get any sort of nod or anything like that over the ending of the actual finale for X-Play, it's kind of a shame. And it's kind of a very sour ending, not only to X-Play, but also to G4 in general. So... Overall, again, it's good riddance to the ending of G4. I think it's kind of a sad thing for a lot of people. Again, it is the ending of an era, as so many people have put it, but it's an ending that's a very sour one and one that could have been much better had things been handled a little bit differently. Okay, Because, again, a lot of the great programming that was there that people loved and still talk about to this day, you know, for whatever reason, whether it was the business that did it or it was just the thinking or the was it line of thinking that was done by some of the people in charge at the time, it really is a shame because this could have been something much more grander and still be much more alive as uh, today as it much was back then. So hopefully with the change to Esquire TV, which I still think is a stupid thing, Hopefully the change to Esquire TV uh, leads into some better stuff. I know they're kind of going for a different, uh, kind of like a more unique demographic or a much more, uh, what is it, focused demographic. They want to appear, appeal to the, what is it, to the young adult male, you know, the, the young adult male audience. And it's going to be kind of like another version of like Spike TV, you know, from the way it's been described so much. But let's see what happens. You know, that's just my opinion on everything about G4 and about, you know, X-Play and, you know, originally Tech TV. Leave your comments and video responses, guys. I don't mind. Just keep it civil. Let me know what you guys' greatest memories about G4 TV was. Let me know what you guys think about this whole transition that they're going through. And put it in the comment section below, and I will talk to you guys again soon. So, I'm Venomous Fat Man, the epic one. This has been your brand new OTGT video, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace out. Stay epic, everybody.